Hi there, everybody. Welcome once again to Shorty on the Fly. And what I have in the vise today, I call the Shaggy Disgrace. I have tied this fly for a client for a number of years now. And uh, although there's not much to it, the, there are a few techniques in here that I can give to you that you might find helpful in other applications. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. So what I've got here is a light wire scud hook um, in size 12. And I have a pink slotted bead. When the guy asked me to tie this, I didn't have any, he wanted a pink bead and the only beads I had were slotted ones. So I had to figure out a way to make that work on a regular hook. And I think I figured it out. So I'm gonna get the bead out of the way here and uh, get my thread started right on top of the hook in the usual fashion. And I'm gonna run it back maybe two hook guys about you know, the, the width of what that bead is going to be. And then I'm going to come in here and snip it off and whip finish at this point. And just take my thread off. And then what I want to do is put just a drop of super glue on those thread wraps. And then I'm going to slide my bead up into position right on those wraps. And that way I've got it oriented the way that I want it. And it's not gonna slip and slide around on there. Okay. And you can do that with, you know, with anything else if you want. If you if you don't want to put um, the, uh, the uh, weight on the back, that's a good way. You know, we often we use uh, lead wire to shove it in and hold things in place. You really can't do that with this bead. So that's why I did that that way. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the thread started back on the hook and run it back around the bend just a little bit. I don't go crazy on this. I know, you know, I want to use part of that curvature for the fly, but it doesn't seem to make that much difference. I, I do it this way and the results are pretty darn good. And now for my body, it's good old hair's ear dubbing stuff that I made, um, you know, with a hair's mask, you can use the store-bought stuff. And we're just spinning that on the thread a little bit at a time until I've got maybe a two, two and a half inch length of dubbing on there. And then we're going to go ahead and just start wrapping and making our shaggy looking body with all those guard hairs sticking out yep that's the trick and that's the ticket and i'm going to run that right up behind the bead and now to finish this with a collar i'm going to use the split thread technique and sometimes your thread doesn't want to cooperate you get to this point and we say yeah you know spin your spin your thread in the counterclockwise uh, manner as though you were looking down on it, but sometimes it just doesn't seem to want to do what you want to do So I'm going to give you a little trick for this. Go ahead whip finish hold everything in place there Take your thread off and now Take your finger and just run it Through the thread with your thumbnail And just run it through there and that will flatten your thread out and make it easier to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and get it started on again. Make sure you wrap over it so you get a good, good secure position there. And now I'm going to go ahead and spin my bobbin a little bit counterclockwise as I were looking down on it. And you can see the thread flatten out there. Okay, I'm gonna flatten it out just a little bit more. Make it really easy. There we go. Now it's easy for me to come in here with my needle and split that thread. Okay, see I've got the thread split. And now I'm gonna come in and put just a little bit of dubbing wax on one side and take slips of my dubbing 
and just slide it. Come back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just sliding it right inside the thread. And now I give it a clockwise spin. And you can see that starting to cord and kink up there and get trapped in between those two thread slices on either side. And now, just go ahead and start wrapping and pull each of those. Each You go around, pull it back just like you were working with a fine, soft hackle. Everything back and out of the way. And there you have it. Okay, now go ahead and whip finish. Make sure you hit the camera while you're doing that. And there it is. The Shaggy Disgrace. Not much to it, but as is so often the case, these buggy looking nasty things uh, are quite effective and my client really swears by this. So although it's an ugly concoction, it has beautiful results. I wish you well. I bid you peace.